So what is going on guys, NandaBrain93 here with another video, and if you guys are new to the channel, huge, huge welcome. We're bringing on a lot of subscribers from the last video because we're doing a giveaway, and I do want to reiterate that we're doing an iPad Pro 2020 11 inch, 128 gigabyte version giveaway. I'm gonna leave the link to the giveaway in the description below, it'll be the first link. Just click that link to enter guys, and uh, good luck to everybody that's trying to win. Giveaways for two weeks, so definitely uh, try your luck over there guys. We're trying to give, one, give away an iPad Pro 11 inch, so you guys can experience pretty much all the things that I'm experiencing with my iPad Pro if you don't have one yet. But enough about that, let's hop right into the video. iPad OS 14 Beta 2 has officially released to developers and I've had a little while to play around with it and I wanna show you guys some of the new features that have come out or some of the new modifications that they've released on the Beta 2 release. Again, it's not gonna be anything game changing, but the bulk of the changes were done on the original Beta release. This is just a couple tweaks, a couple aesthetic changes to make it you know, that much better for you guys to use. So let's hop right into it, guys. All right, guys, so the first thing that I always like to touch on is the actual size of the file uh, for the Beta 2 software update. I'm gonna put an overlay on the screen right now, but it was about 700 megabytes, so I always recommend doubling that in terms of how much storage you have left on your device in to actually update it. So if it's about 700 megabytes, I would recommend 1.4 to 1.5 gigs of available storage to be able to update it. And then the next thing I do like to touch on is the actual build number. So you guys can see that I'm in the about section, the software version 14.0, if you click on that again, usually the little letter at the end is what dignifies or tells you what version you're on. So what beta number you're on. And it starts off with a higher letter in the alphabet. So the first beta version was V, now we're down to I, and then eventually we'll get like C, B, A, and then the GM, which is the, I think it's Goldmaster or Grandmaster edition, pretty much the finalized version before it goes out to everybody in the public. And then the last, you know, PSA that I have for you guys is that for some reason, and I've noticed this with a couple people who've tried to update this to iPad OS 14 beta 2, if there's any audio playing in, in the iPad itself, it will not update for some reason. So if you're listening to any iTunes music, YouTube music, Spotify, if you have headphones on, if it's coming out of the speakers, make sure that's all turned off when you're updating to the new beta, because for some reason it's been giving people a lot of issues when audio is playing, which, you know, it's something that you wouldn't really think about, but it, but it is an issue. All right, guys, so the first aesthetic change, the first visual thing that you'll notice is the actual calendar widget has changed a little bit. I'll show you guys what it looked like before, but this is what the new calendar widget looks like, or the new calendar application icon looks like, not the widget, guys, but that's what you're dealing with when it comes to the calendar widget. Another much needed update to the actual widget section was the reminders application. So before when you had the reminders widget open on the left hand side of your widget screen, both on iOS and iPad OS, it gave you the amount of reminders you had left for the day, but it didn't tell you what the reminder was. So you guys can see here, my reminders get this video out to you guys by the end of the day today. And that's what we're working on. And that's now showing on the reminders widget. Another cool one, if you guys noticed, is that now files has a cool new widget. So if you go into the actual edit menu to go edit your widgets and you go add a new one, you can see that now the files app has one and there's different modes. And each one of these little bo boxes represents a file that you've recently opened. So I like to keep it at this smaller one, give you four different files to choose from. And if I click on one of them, it'll try to open that up for me, which is really, really nice to have right there. And then two smaller tweaks, guys. I am not an Apple Music uh, user, but if you are, if you go into the music settings, there will be an option that will allow you to disable album art downloads and then also only enable it through Wi-Fi only. And the reason they put that in there is because obviously album art, when you're out and about, it takes data and not everybody has unlimited data. They wanted to save the end user from having to pay extra if they are on a limited plan. So that's a nice little touch. And then the very last thing that I noticed, guys, is actually down here in the actual clock. The hands on the clock are just a tad bit thicker. And if you guys notice on the last one, they're just very, very thin lines. This one, the hands on the clock did get a little bit thicker, which is a funny little update that Apple included with beta two. And as of right now, that's pretty much the only thing that I can notice when it comes to iPad OS 14 beta two. I haven't seen too many changes. Again, most of them are aesthetic and I'm waiting for the big release, which will probably be iPad OS 14.1. But we are, we are going to get other releases along the way, like 14.0.1 and 0.0.2, and each of those will have its own beta. So definitely stay tuned, stay subscribed, because I'm gonna be covering every single little change that iPadOS brings you guys. So just to reiterate what I was saying before, there weren't too many changes for this beta two. We're probably not gonna see any major changes until the 14.1 beta release comes out, which is 
you know, probably two, three, four weeks from where we're at right now because it's still pretty early on. But the public beta version should be releasing soon. So if you guys want to dabble in it with any of the iPads that you do have, feel free to install the public beta developer program. That's what I did last year. And then this year I'm on the regular developer program. So highly recommend trying the beta program out. I had a ton of fun with it last year on th iPad OS 13 or the first version of iPadOS, and uh, I don't regret installing the beta whatsoever, guys. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys learned something new and maybe added some tweaks to iPadOS 14. Uh, leave a comment below if you guys are using the beta software, if you're still on iPadOS 13. And also, like I said, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Really wanna get back to you guys because we hit 10,000 subs over the weekend and the channel is just continuing to grow. So that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, peace.